In this informative video, we are going to learn about the RNA, or ribonucleic acid. RNA plays a crucial role in many cellular processes. At its core, ribonucleic acid is a molecule essential for the transmission of genetic information and the synthesis of proteins within living organisms. While RNA and DNA share some structural similarities, several key differences make RNA uniquely suited to its roles in the cell. At the most fundamental level, RNA is composed of three main components. These components are a sugar called ribose, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Together, they form the backbone and the informational code of the RNA molecule. RNA is built with ribose sugar, unlike DNA, which contains deoxyribose sugar. The presence of an extra hydroxyl group on the ribose sugar makes RNA more reactive. This extra group also makes RNA less stable than DNA. This structural difference is crucial for RNA's function and lifespan within the cell. The phosphate groups link the ribose sugars together. They form the backbone of the RNA strand. Each phosphate group connects to the 3-carbon of one ribose and the 5-carbon of the next. This connection creates a continuous repeating structure. RNA has four nitrogenous bases adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Unlike DNA, which uses thymine, RNA uses uracil to pair with adenine. These bases are essential for storing genetic information. They also facilitate the base pairing interactions that underlie RNA's functions. RNA molecules are typically single-stranded. This allows them to fold into complex three-dimensional shapes. The single-stranded nature of RNA enables it to perform a wide variety of functions. It serves as a template for protein synthesis and can catalyze biochemical reactions. The single strand of RNA is composed of nucleotides which are the building blocks of RNA. Each nucleotide consists of a nitrogenous base, a ribose sugar, and a phosphate group. The sequence of these nucleotides encodes genetic information. The specific arrangement of these nucleotides determines the RNA's function. There are several types of RNA. Each has a unique structure and function. Let's delve into some of the most critical types of RNA and their roles in cellular processes. Messenger RNA. It is synthesized from a DNA template during transcription. It carries genetic information from DNA to the ribosome. Here, it serves as a blueprint for protein synthesis. mRNA molecules are typically several thousand nucleotides long and are composed of a single strand of RNA. The length and sequence of mRNA determine the specific protein that will be produced. For instance, the mRNA for hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen in our blood, is distinct from the mRNA for insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. Transfer RNA. It is responsible for bringing amino acids to the ribosome during protein synthesis. Each transfer RNA molecule has a specific amino acid attached to it. It acts as a bridge between the mRNA and the growing polypeptide chain. Transfer RNA molecules are typically composed of a single strand of RNA that folds into a cloverleaf shape. This shape includes an anticodon region that base pairs with the corresponding codon on the mRNA. This ensures that the correct amino acid is added to the growing protein chain. Ribosomal RNA. It is a component of ribosomes, the molecular machines that synthesize proteins. RRNA molecules play an active role in the process of protein synthesis. They facilitate the alignment of mRNA and tRNA and catalyze the formation of peptide bonds. Ribosomes are made up of a large and a small subunit. Each contains specific rRNA molecules. These rRNA molecules ensure the ribosome functions correctly, making protein synthesis efficient and accurate. MicroRNA It is a small RNA molecule involved in the regulation of gene expression. 
microRNA molecules bind to specific mRNA molecules and inhibit their translation into proteins. This regulatory mechanism allows cells to control the levels of various proteins. It is essential for processes such as development, differentiation, and response to environmental changes. For example, certain microRNAs are known to play roles in cancer by regulating genes involved in cell proliferation and apoptosis. The examples we have discussed highlight just a few of the many types of RNA molecules that play critical roles in cellular processes. Now, let's delve into the intricate dance of protein synthesis, where RNA plays a central role. The process begins with DNA unwinding its double helix structure, exposing the genetic code. RNA polymerase, the enzyme responsible for transcription, then synthesizes a complementary RNA strand using one of the DNA strands as a template. This newly formed mRNA carries the genetic instructions encoded in the DNA from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Once in the cytoplasm, the mRNA binds to a ribosome, where protein synthesis occurs. Here, the genetic code embedded within the mRNA is translated into a specific sequence of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, by the coordinated action of tRNA molecules. With each triplet of mRNA bases, known as a codon, corresponding to a specific amino acid, the ribosome assembles the amino acids into a polypeptide chain. This is how a polypeptide chain is formed and protein is synthesized. While RNA's role in protein synthesis is paramount, its influence extends far beyond this fundamental process. RNA participates in various cellular functions, including gene regulation, RNA splicing, and catalysis. Certain types of RNAs like microRNA and small interfering RNA regulate gene expression. They achieve this by binding to complementary mRNA sequences. Once bound, they can either inhibit translation or promote mRNA degradation. This process allows cells to fine-tune the expression of genes, controlling protein production and maintaining cellular homeostasis. In eukaryotic cells, pre-mRNA undergoes splicing. This process involves the removal of non-coding regions called introns, the remaining exons are then joined together. This results in the formation of a mature mRNA molecule. The splicing process is intricate and highly regulated. It is orchestrated by small nuclear ribonucleoproteins and other components of the spliceosome. Remarkably, some RNA molecules exhibit catalytic activity. They are capable of catalyzing biochemical reactions similar to enzymes. These special RNA molecules are known as ribozymes. They play essential roles in RNA processing and other cellular processes. Their discovery has revolutionized our understanding of molecular biology and holds immense potential for various applications in medicine and biotechnology. Understanding the structure and function of RNA is crucial for researchers and medical professionals. This knowledge allows them to develop new treatments and therapies for various diseases and disorders. For instance, the discovery of RNA's role in gene regulation has been transformative. It has led to the development of RNA-based therapeutics, such as small interfering RNA and antisense oligonucleotides. These are used to silence specific genes involved in diseases like cancer and genetic disorders, to illustrate the significance of RNA structure, consider the story of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Scientists harnessed the power of mRNA to create a new type of vaccine. They encoded the genetic information for the virus's spike protein into mRNA. This allowed them to instruct human cells to produce this protein, thereby stimulating an immune response without causing disease. This innovative approach is built on decades of research into RNA structure and function. It has been pivotal in controlling the pandemic and saving countless lives. By delving into the structure of RNA, we gain a deeper appreciation of its versatility and importance in biology.
This knowledge enhances our understanding of life's molecular mechanisms. Moreover, it opens up new avenues for medical and technological advancements. The ongoing research into RNA continues to reveal its potential in treating and understanding a wide array of diseases. Thus, the study of RNA structure is not just an academic pursuit. It is a vital field that directly impacts human health and well-being. The study of RNA continues to unveil new insights into the complexities of life, offering promising avenues for therapeutic interventions, diagnostics, and biotechnological applications. From RNA interference therapies to RNA-based vaccines, the potential of RNA-based technologies is boundless, promising to revolutionize medicine and beyond. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the realm of RNA. See you in the next video.